Hey guys, welcome back to another What The Hack. Today I'll show you how you can charge your phone in an emergency situation using only two 9 volt batteries. This is what you'll need. Two 9 volt batteries, two 9 volt battery connectors. I bought about 20 of these online for like a dollar or so, but you can easily find them at any electrical equipment store. A car charger socket, a container of some sort. I found this neat little rectangular box of dental floss and it is perfect for this application. And some hot glue and soldering equipment. Now you might have seen this little hack where people will tie a key to the car charger and then place it on a 9 volt battery and the phone starts charging. But let's be honest, how long will you hold on to this? At this rate it will charge like 1% in about 15 minutes. See, these chargers require an input of 12 to 24 volts DC since they are designed for cars. So you need at least two batteries to get some real juice flowing. So let's make something that is actually usable. First of all, I'm going to strip down the cover from the car charger and then extract the circuitry. This terminal on the front is positive and these round metal pieces are part of the negative terminal. I don't need both these horns so I'll clip them off from each side and then mount it again on the USB port. Now I'll take two 9 volt battery connectors and connect them in series. You can just connect it by twisting the wires together but soldering them just makes the joint stronger and more conductive. Now we have our negative and positive wire. I'll take the positive red wire and connect it to the positive terminal on the car charger and the negative to the negative. With this, our circuit is ready. Let's do a quick test. And the LED lights up, that means it's working. Now take the box and position the circuit inside it. I have to cut a rectangular hole here for the USB port. I'll mark out my shape with a marker and then with a blade I'll cut it out. The plastic is quite thick so I'm heating my cutter using a small lighter. To put it together, place the car charger in its position and stick it in there with some hot glue. Now all you have to do is to load the batteries, close the box and plug in your phone. And there you go, you have your own makeshift power bank. If you don't want the red LED to drain unnecessary power, you can just unplug one terminal from one of the batteries and this will break the circuit. You can easily connect it again whenever you need it. Now you'll see something what no one else usually shows you. I want to do a test to see how much this will charge my phone. One of the battery is completely fresh and the other one is slightly used. The starting percentage of my iPhone is 45. After about 30 minutes, it has gone up to 48%. That's kind of slow. 3% is not that much, but the good thing is, it stops the battery from draining any further for as long as it has use. So you'll definitely not miss that important call, message or email you were waiting for while driving home with a broken lighter outlet in the middle of nowhere on a highway where there are no power stations to charge your phone. It's not as good as a real power bank, but it is extremely useful in cases of emergency where even 1% matters. And the good thing is you can find 9 volt batteries anywhere. I've stuffed an extra battery in my box just for backup. And if you really want to go the extra mile, you can even give your box a nice paint job. Or in my case, an electric tape coverall. And by the way, not just phones, it can even power other devices like tablets or this Bluetooth speaker. If it accepts 5 volt DC, then this thing can handle it. That's all for today guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button below and share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel for more gadget reviews, life hacks and facts. You can also follow me on Facebook and other social media. The links are in the description below. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.